Hi everybody! Welcome back to、um, Book a Lunch Day. So today we are going to be making teriyaki chicken. Teriyaki chicken is such a famous and world like renowned、um, sauce dish that I bet everyone has had it before.、Um, and it's so easy to make, so you really don't need to go out. To buy the little bottle to for barbecue or for cooking, and to, so today I'm going to mainly show you how to do the sauce. And it's only take like two minutes. Okay, so first of all,、um, let's go through the ingredients first. So for veggies, I have broccoli,、um, and you can use anything. You can use、um, cabbage or anything that you like. Okay, if you don't eat broccoli. And then,、um, so today we're making teriyaki chicken. So I have some、um, chicken thigh, boneless ones.、Um, you can use anything you want, but I feel like chicken thigh is the best choice. But if you prefer breast or drumstick, go for it. And yeah. So that's our protein choice. And if you don't like chicken, pork, beef, or、um, tofu for vegetarian friends. Yeah, those are fine too. And for sauce, it's really, really easy. So we have rice wine. I have a, I use this a lot, so I have a gigantic bottle.、Um, and then soy sauce and some sugar. Okay. And、um, we also have some cornstarch or tapioca powder.、Um, it's basically the same thing. It's just thickening、um, the sauce. So if you want to add it, go for it. If you don't want to add it, you don't have to. Okay, so that's everything.、Um, here it's the broccoli. What you always want to do, at least at home,、um, I usually try to cut the vegetable first, so that way I don't need to wash my cutting board again when I'm prepping the meat, because it's kind of, it's clean already, right? Or unless you have two cutting board, and that's totally fine too. Just cut into like bite size.、Um, all right, and put it in a separate plate. And these we're just going to put it in hot water to let it simmer a little bit. I have a pot, a very small pot of water over here, so I'm going to put it in the back just to let it boil. And just right over there, okay. We're not gonna look at it because it's not going to boil if we look at it, right? All right. Now we're gonna cut the chicken. It's completely up to you how you want to cut the chicken. You can cut it in bigger chunk. You can do whatever you want. And one ingredient that you might find that I didn't put it on the list is oil or grease. It's because we have so much chicken fat here already, and sometimes what I like to do is just to use this chicken fat, trim it, and just you know use them for cooking. It's totally fine. You don't need to use additional oil for cooking when you already have when you already bought the chicken, and it's healthier that way too. So when I trim it out, trim the fat. From the chicken thigh, this is a pretty fat chicken. So this side as well, and you just kind of slice your knife through, get it off. Okay, I'm gonna cut it in half really quickly, and then just big chunk of it. It's going to shrink a little bit once we put it in. The pan. Once we cook it, it's going to shrink a little bit. So you actually don't want it to cut it too small. Okay. Oh, today there's no cat. I locked my cat away, so that you won't hear that loud, that really loud meowing sound in the back. Cause it's they were in trouble last time, right? It was so loud. I put them in the bedroom, so you can chill in there until until I'm done cooking. Cause I sometimes cook food for them, so they always, whenever I'm in the kitchen, they always think I'm cooking for them. All right, so that's the chicken. 
and like I promised I'm going to put some of the chicken fat in my pot first like this and because I'm not monitoring right now so I'm not going to turn it on let me just put away my cutting board a little bit when you're working with um, grease and you can I sometimes do this with like um, like pork chop when they have some kind of fat on it you can do this um, or I mean you do bacon so that's about the same idea you don't want the fat to be too big just a little bit otherwise the fat is just going to burn and it's not going to release anything it's just going to burst into flame chopsticks see you can already see like it's greasing the bottom of the pan Right. So that's that. We're just going to let it sit for a while. Well, at the same time, we're going to do the sauce. The sauce is super easy. So remember last time we did the sweet and sour fish? Same thing. Ratio is one by one. Okay? So one. So however many cup of rice wine, you add however many cup of um, soy sauce to it. So today, I'm not... It's not a lot, so we're just going to do one fourth of a cup again. And again, if you're cooking for a large amount, like if you're having a barbecue, you want to marinate the chicken, the pork, whatever. Yeah, you can make a lot and thicken it, and then you can use it as a homemade barbecue sauce. That way, you can even have two different kind of barbecue sauce instead of just one, and. You know everyone's gonna love you for it and then one cup of soy sauce now traditionally what they use for sugar is actually comelin um, it's a sweetened substitute from rice so and you can usually find it in in Asian market um, any Asian market that you should be able to find it or in the Asian aisle of Target like bigger chain store but I reckon like a lot of people don't have that or like I have that but why am I, if I go out and buy it what am I going to do with it after what be teriyaki chicken right so you can always substitute it with sugar um, so with sugar I wouldn't add as much I would just add just a little bit well, you still want to keep it sweet, so I'm only adding one spoonful of it. Okay, just stir it. If you want to go sweeter, you can definitely go sweeter if you want. Now let's take a look at our pot. You can see it's totally freeze up a lot. So see, you don't even need to add any oil to your pan. Alright, so let's remove the fat. Okay, very good. Now, same thing, I'm not turning up the fire at all, still keeping it small. My pan is really, it's hot now, so I'm just going to add in my chicken now. Let it sit, let it kind of heat up a little bit. Now, usually I would marinate the chicken the day like or 30 minutes before it's totally up to you I didn't today because I want to show you guys how this is made and which is why I cut my chicken to a smaller pieces today if you are just pan frying a whole piece of chicken then that way you do want to marinate it beforehand otherwise it's not going to absorb all the sauce okay um, and which is why it's really good for lunch because you can just do it the day before, when before you go to bed, add the sauce to a Ziploc bag, and then put it throw it in the fridge. And next next day for lunch, you just pop, pop it in the pan, pan fry, and then you are done. How easy is that, right? Oh. Just the broccoli is going to cook really, really fast, so I'm not even going to. For like a minute, literally a minute. While I flip this thing over, and once I do that, 
Now you can turn up the flame a little bit so that way um, the sauce can cook through. Okay? And just let it sit. At the same time, I'm going to dump the water out um, and while that's cooking. Here it's cooked properly, very easy. You have a few choice. You can um, add the broccoli in at the very end to add in all the cook it with the sauce, or you can add on top of it, like put it on your rice bowl and then put it on top of it. It's totally up to you. Right. Now on the list, I do have the powder, the corn. The tapioca powder. I don't. That's what I have, so it's not really. So it's um, what you actually want to do is just add a little water, a cold water. It has to be cold water to a separate bowl, like this, and then just add a teeny bit. I'm adding it today just because I want to show you guys how this is done, and it's actually pretty cool too. To cook it, cook with it in. Um, oh, you use your finger? I don't. I know. It's a lot easier to use your finger to smoosh it over and just you know, you just wash your hand. It's fluid. It's fine. It's not going to um, destroy your finger. Okay. All right. Because we have a lot of sauce to it today, right? And it look like it's almost cooked through. Just let it simmer. And I also have a bowl of rice in the microwave already, so I'm going to let that cook so we can complete our teriyaki chicken bowl. It's super, super deep, to break. And we're almost done. So you don't even need to spend a lot of money and you can switch up the food if your kids like it and I mean it's also a really easy dish to show your show to your teenagers right um, just add the ingredients together put it on there um, so when they are hungry you can be like hey there's you no know, that at least that's what my mom would do to me when I was younger like you're hungry okay there is chicken that I marinated already just throw them in the pan and then pan fry it and you have a meal right? no. does anyone else's mom do that or just my mom <laughs> my mom is kind of like oh you need to know how to take care of yourself so we we learn how to cook um, fairly young All right. so the way you ask the way you want to see whether or not your chicken or meat is completely cooked through, it's really simple. It's kind of like how you would um, baking, just kind of poke through it. If it's really easy to go through it, usually that means that piece of meat is completely cooked. And again, I cut the piece are very small today, so that's why it's going to be very easy for it to cook all the way through. And it's chicken, so you do want to cook all the way through. So I'm actually not going to add my um, broccoli into it. I want to put it on the side so it looks nice and pretty, like how you would in a store. So I have my um, tapioca powder or whatever thickening agent you have and just pour over it. Once you add into it, you want to see it's going to cook a little bit more. So that sauce, you want it nice and thick. 
And again, if you don't want that extra carb, you don't have to add that. That is really just to make the sauce like really thick. Okay. See, the texture is completely different now. Chicken thigh is enormous. So. Okay. And then the salt, you can just drizzle a little bit. See, it's a little bit more thickening. I didn't add too much carb to it. And then you can just drizzle on top of it. And then, voila! That's your chicken, uh, teriyaki chicken ball. How easy is that? And we did it again under 20 minutes. All right, I am going to try it. Another Okay. I have a special guest. He really wanted to try the food in front of, in front like for everybody, cause he's annoying. Hi. So, <laughs> this is my husband. Um. I, I want to get you a smaller piece. So you don't burn yourself. He's been bragging that he's got. He's the one that got to eat all the food. Hot. Oh. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. Good. Very good. It's good. Okay. We can go now. All right. <laughs> so let me try the the food a little bit. Um, usually I would do a little tasting, like as I cook, but today I forgot, so it's fine. Mm. It's really sweet. It's really perfect for summertime. And yes, it's really hot. But it's really good. So that's your very easy version of teriyaki chicken. And again, you can add in anything you want. Sometimes I would even do ginger um, or onion with it. So you add in additional flavor. It's completely up to you. The sauce is super easy to make. It's one of my go-to dish that you can make at home. And try it at home. And if you do have any question, um, just post comment below. I will try to answer them as much as possible. And if you do actually try at home, please post some picture to let me know how well you did. Alright, bye everybody!